What up, Meal Prepping Nation? It's Bobby, and today we're gonna take a classic comfort dish, shepherd's pie, and make a lean and mean version. But most importantly, it's gonna be tasty, super easy to make, and hella delicious because we are making shepherd's pie for weight loss. Loaded with chicken and veggies and layered with a cauliflower mash topping and baked in the oven until golden brown, served with some oven roasted baby broccoli. Nice and crispy on the outside with a little bit of lemon. So if you're looking for meal prep that is all about the flavor and seriously badass recipes, you might wanna subscribe to my channel. I've got new meal preps every Friday morning and I want you to join the Flav City community. The key to making this shepherd's pie low fat is right in front of me. I have one and a half pounds of ground chicken breast. It's really lean, but it also is lean on the flavor, which is why we're gonna mix it up, add a ton of flavor and build texture in this bad boy. So I'm preheating a cast iron pan over medium high heat. I'm gonna drizzle in two teaspoons of olive oil. And then I'm preheating my pan for two minutes because as soon as this chicken goes in the pan, I want it to make this noise. So then go ahead and flatten into one even layer. And the goal here is to maximize the surface area of the pan and make this ground chicken as crusty and brown as possible. Because normally you do this with ground beef and all that yummy fat would get nice and caramelized in there, but we don't have that yummy fat in ground chicken breast, so I'm still gonna get that caramelized, crispy yumminess going on. Grab a big old pinch of salt, about three quarters of a teaspoon, and then a few cracks of black pepper. Now that'll take about five or six minutes total. In the meantime, let's get our veggie game rolling. I thought it'd be nice to have some fresh and vibrant veggies as a side dish to this comfort food. So in front of me, I have a pound of baby broccoli. Isn't it so cute, the little baby? You can also use grown up broccoli. You can also use broccolini. I'm also preheating the oven to 450 degrees. Now I don't really want the bottom of these tough broccoli stalks. So line them up in one semi-even layer here and Ned Stark these mofos. Roughly cut those into bite-sized pieces and then transfer that to a sheet tray. Now your mama may have boiled or steamed broccoli or even cauliflower to death when you were a wee little tot, but when I roast these in the oven at a high temperature, y'all, Game changer. Mama ain't ever tasted broccoli like this. So I'll go ahead and drizzle over two teaspoons of olive oil. Just over half a teaspoon of salt and some of your official Flav City black pepper. Give that a good mix up with your hands. Put it in one even layer here. Now I'm gonna toss these guys into the oven for about 25 minutes. Now let's check on our chicken. See how the top is a little white and opaque and the juices are kind of pooling up. That tells me the bottom is already getting crispy, and it's time to flip these guys. Oh yes, you guys, look at that. That caramelization, that brown color there is gonna create another layer of flavor. And trust me, we need as much flavor as we can get when it comes to ground chicken breasts. Break it up into fine pieces, just like you would ground beef, and we'll let it cook through for another three or four minutes. All right, that looks good, you guys. Whatever you do, don't overcook the chicken because it'll go dry super easily. I'm gonna transfer it to a clean bowl. Sounds like the dinner bell. Supper's ready, y'all! The chicken component is done. Let's move on to the vegetable station. I have onions, carrots, and celery in this bowl here. I'm using the same exact pan. Don't even bother cleaning it. Preheat it over medium-high heat and go in with two more teaspoons of olive oil and then add the veg to the pan, along with half a teaspoon of salt and a few cracks of pepper. And then give that a mix up and make sure you actually use a new spoon. You don't want to use the same spoon you use for the chicken because you could have some cross-contamination. And then while the vegetables cook, I'm gonna up the flavor factor even more. Dried oregano, go in with half a teaspoon. All right, give that one last stir. I'm gonna cook it for about 10 minutes until the vegetables really wilt down by at least half. Now is the time I wanna get some garlic in there because remember, if I add the garlic in the beginning, it might burn. So I have three cloves of garlic here. I'm just gonna finely mince them. And then what would a shepherd's pie be without some peas? It reminds me of my childhood growing up in the Yorkshire countryside of England. Mother used to put the peas into the shepherds. So I'll do that too. Mother did not used to do that in the north side of Chicago, just so you know. So give that a mix up. We'll let it cook for about two minutes just until the rawness of the garlic is cooked through. 
Yorkshire is a part of England. And mother made the Yorkshire puds. Son, have you lost your damn mind using chicken mince for the shepherd's pie? I must have raised you wrong. That sounds Irish now, gosh. Now go in with two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm gonna cook the tomato paste for two minutes because honestly, when you do that, it intensifies that tomatoey flavor even more. It's gonna bring such a depth of flavor to this minced chicken shepherd's pie. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, you guys, 25 minutes is up. The ends of the broccoli are kind of caramelized and really crispy, but the stalks in the body are perfectly cooked through. That's exactly what you wanna see. Hit the broccoli with the zest of one lemon. All right, I'm gonna push this to the side. We'll finish up our shepherd's pie. Now back to the pan with the veg here. I'm gonna kill the heat and look at the color of that tomato paste. It really intensified, got nice and red. I'm gonna finish this with the zest of about half an orange. Cut the orange in half and then add the juice of half an orange. The zest and the juice are gonna make the flavors of this really pop. The last thing to really elevate the flavors with a little bit of freshness is about a tablespoon or two of freshly chopped parsley. And give that one last mix up. And then I'm gonna grab my cooked chicken over here and add that to the pan. So now that chicken's getting all the love from the veggies, the orange, the tomato paste, giving it some much needed moisture. Now we're in good shape, you guys. All right, the meat mixture portion of this recipe is done. Let's move this pan o oh, deliciousness to the side and then talk about the topping. Now, normally shepherd's pie is loaded with buttery, silky mashed potatoes that have tons of milk and or cream in there. We ain't doing that, homie. This is a weight loss meal prep. So in front of me, I have two heads of cauliflower that I broke down into florets. We're gonna make cauliflower whip. So let me go back here and grab this big pot of water. Now, before I go adding the cauliflower to the pot, I wanna season the water with salt just like I would pasta. So shake in about two teaspoons of salt. Oh. <laughs> Some one angry pot of water. And then very carefully add the cauliflower. <laughs> Emphasis on the very careful. We're gonna let that boil for 10 minutes and then I'll check it. I'm also gonna add three cloves of garlic. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's get everyone out of the swimming pool here. The reason why you wanna time this for pretty much 10 minutes is if you overcook this, it's gonna get waterlogged and be mushy AF. So you actually know it's ready when you take a tester piece like this and you mash it with your fork and still has some body to it like that, but it goes through relatively easy. Now, while the cauliflower is still hot, I'm gonna grab my blender carafe, carefully put all of it inside. Now, normally you don't think about cheese when you're trying to lose weight, but aged cheeses like Parmesan or Pecorino Romano only have 20 calories and two grams of fat per tablespoon, and they deliver hella flavor. So go ahead and grate some in here, about a tablespoon and a half. Go in with a quarter teaspoon of salt and a few cracks of black pepper. Because the cauliflower is still hot, that cheese is gonna melt. It's gonna soak up the salt and pepper. Throw the lid on the top, and then I'm using my blender plunger to make sure everything gets pulsed down. It's not plugged in. <laughs> it's always these simple things, man. Now check it out, you guys. Because it still retains some of the water from boiling, the texture is super creamy. Look at that. You guys, light and buttery. It's almost as good as butter loaded mashed potatoes. You won't even tell the difference. Now, if you don't have a blender, you can do what Granny used to do in the English countryside and bust out your good old potato masher and put some elbow grease in there. You're gonna be fine. Now I'm gonna grab my base of the shepherd's pie and then pour this silky cauliflower mash all over the top. Bow chicka wow wow. Make sure you scrape out every last drop of goodness and then smooth it out into one even layer all the way to the edges. And then finally, optional, not optional, is one more dusting of pecorino. I get nice and crusty in the oven. And then somebody needs to spot me here. One, two, three. Ah! This beast is gonna go in the oven for about 15 minutes until it gets golden brown on top. All right, you guys. Check out old Bessie right here, fresh out of the oven, and that is golden brown and looking awesome on top. 
All right, you guys, I got my glass meal prep containers in check. So I'm seriously awesome looking at meal prep for weight loss in front of me. And by the way, if you wanna get any of the products I use during the video, including the containers, I put the links down below over on Amazon. Before I plate it up in the old container, I thought it'd be nice, as always, to plate it on a real plate, in case you're not bringing it to work. Cut out a nice big piece of shepherd's pie here. Look at that, you guys. The chicken is just completely juicy. It has that nice layer of mash on top of there. So much flavor in there. Grab a couple pieces of baby broccoli. Finish with some parsley. And boom, supper is done, y'all. And for the containers, grab another scoop of shepherd's pie. Tuck that into the corner. And then grab some baby broccoli and put that into. All right, you guys, all five containers are done. And I don't know about you, but that looks bad as I'm going in. Let me tuck a piece right here. You guys, that is comfort food. That is like a culinary hug from the inside. That chicken is rich. It's insane how creamy that whipped cauliflower is. Let me grab a little piece here of broccoli. Mmm. Popping from the lemon zest. Nice and crispy, but really creamy on the inside. That is awesome. Well, there it is, you guys. Meal prep for weight loss. Comfort food, but done light. The storing and reheating instructions are down below in the description box, along with the recipe and full macros. Subscribe to my channel, yo. New videos every Friday morning, and I want you to be a part of them. Two more videos are below me. They are tasty, and they are delicious, and they are low in fat. Check them out. I'll see you next Friday like I always do. Until then, hashtag I keep on cooking.